I'm working in the New Perspectives Microsoft Access 2010 textbook. I'm on page AC 151 and I'm going to create an aggregate function. What an aggregate function will do is it will perform an operation on a group of records. It's going to aggregate them. It's going to put them together, which makes this different from the calculated field that we did in our unpaid invoices query. In that particular query, the calculation acted on each record. I want to know the late fee for this record. I want to know the late fee for this record. In an aggregate query, we're going to be looking at statistics as they apply to a group of records. Then this means we're going to have to be very careful about the fields that we bring in. So let's click on Create. We're going to create a query in Design View. We're only going to be working on the contract table, so I'll bring it in. And I want to know the amount of my smallest contract, the amount of my average contract, and the amount of my maximum contract. Now keep in mind that my minimum contract may not be just one record. I could have written 10 contracts for $300, and that's my smallest contract. Or I could have written 100 contracts for $252,000, which is my largest contract. But it's going to show me the, um, the smallest dollar amount, the largest dollar amount, and the average dollar amount. And in this case, it's working only on the contracts. So I'm going to bring in the contract amount three times. Because every calculation I perform is going to be on that same field. I want to know the smallest contract amount, the average contract amount, and the highest contract amount. So I'm going to run it. Right now, everything should look the same. I have 64 records. And I'm going to come in, and now is when I click on Totals. Because what this is going to do is it's going to group those values. It's going to take all of them that are the same amount and put them into a group. So by just doing this, have I actually reduced the number of records that are going to show in my data sheet view. Let's find out. I had uh, 64 the last time, was that right? 47. So that means that I have some duplicate entries. I'm going to come back in my group by. I want to find my smallest contract amount, my average contract amount, and maximum contract amount. Now as you're doing this, pay attention to how Access writes these particular functions. AVG is average. It's something different in Excel, isn't it? Don't we write average, write it out? So pay attention to how Access actually sets these up because you may need these things later on when you're doing more work on your own. Now let's take a look at it again. The smallest contract amount is $300. The largest contract amount is $252,000 and the average of all my contracts is $27,391. 7969, you can see the formatting there. Let's go back in, and we're not done. Now we're going to name all of these fields. And so to do that, I'm just going to grab all of them and make them slightly wider so that I can work right in the box and you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to click in front of Contract Amount, and I'm going to write in Minimum Contract amount. Keep in mind that contract amount is part of the name. I can't put minimum colon contract amount. I want minimum contract amount colon and the colon is part of the name. It is required. If I don't put that colon in there, let's just see what oops, let's just see what we can kind of problems we can cause by taking the colon out of there. Just tells me this time that I have invalid syntax. So we'll put it back in, give it a try. So far, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it as Contract Amount Statistics. And we'll go back and we'll finish working on these. Next one is going to be Average Contract Amount. And the next one will be Maximum Contract Amount.
run it again, resize again, and it looks like it's working. What's left? Do we need to set any formatting? doesn't say we do, but if we needed to set formatting, we'd open up the Properties sheet, we'd choose each one, and we'd set the formatting. Now keep in mind that if you try to change the formatting on a field before you run the query, instead of getting the field properties, you may end up with something that says Query Properties, like you see here. So if you're trying to set the format on a field and it just keeps saying Query Properties, run the query and then come back and try it again. If that doesn't work, run the query, make sure you've saved it, and then come back again. It should normally work after you run it. If it's still not working, you're probably not clicking in the right place, or maybe you need to close the query and reopen it. But normally it will start working for you immediately after you run the query and come back to Design View. I'm going to go ahead and save this again, and I'm going to do a a file save as because I want to create a copy of this query and I want to call it contract amount statistics by city I'm being directed to go to the backstage view that's a, just a lovely name that Microsoft came up with and it just simply means what you're going to find on the file menu so click on the file menu save object as and I'm going to do contract amount by st statistics by city and I normally change the name of this the query before I remove the copy of. It's just a habit. And I'll go back home and I'm in Contract Amount Statistics by City. Make sure you're in the right query before you make the changes. Now if I want to work on this, I just probably want to run it. OK. Now I'm going to bring in the City field. Now here's where a lot of people go wrong. Is for some reason it's like well, maybe I should have the customer ID or something in there too, or maybe I should have the contract num. Let's just start with city and see what it's supposed to look like, and then look at some ways that we can really mess this query up. City came in, the default is group by. Run it, it is what we want, and I'm going to save it. Now, the mistake that some folks make is they bring in a field like contract num. What is contract num? Contract num is the primary key. If it's the primary key, can that value ever be duplicated? No. So if I bring it in, I can have an aggregate query, but my query is not aggregated because the primary key is a unique value. And remember, what an aggregate query is going to do, it's going to group by common values. And in this case, since contract number is unique, it can't group. 